Hey guys, it's Emma, I'm your e named I'm and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a story time about the BTS Love Yourself World Tour concert that I went to in Canada. And that was like the best experience of my life ever. And some of you may like BTS, some of you may not like BTS, some of you may have found my channel because you were searching up BTS videos, which you should subscribe because I make a wide array of videos. And you may have found my channel before, but no matter who you are, you should subscribe for weekly content because I love when you guys subscribe and come back. It makes me really happy. So if you don't want to see me sad, then sad, then you should subscribe. So I'm going to stop blabbing and just get on with the video. <laughs> So I'm going to start with the days leading up to the concert. Now I have been counting down since like 20 days before and I was literally so excited for them. My bias is German and I love him and he was going to sing Serendipity by himself at the show. So I knew I was already excited and then the day before I had to go to school. I wanted to die. Like literally I was going to see BTS like the world famous group in like a couple hours. Yeah I was sitting in school learning about stuff I don't give a crap about. So, like, whatever. Anyways, I left after 5th hour, and I was like, bye losers, I'm not coming to 6th or 7th hour because I don't like any of you. Just kidding. If you're my friend from school, I love you, and, um, you're one of the few people I love at school, so be proud <laughs> that you're, like, my friend, and I don't hate you. Anyways, so then me and my mom left school, we got in the car, we bought a ton of snacks so we could, like, go, and then we stopped at customs to get over from America into the border or into Canada after about an hour. Okay, so I stopped at customs and like if you don't know what customs is, they pretty much just ask you about it. And since I was a minor going with my mom, um, you have to get a letter from your parents. You have to get a passport or a birth certificate. Since I was a parent going with or a parent was going with me and it was only one parent, I needed a signature from the other parent making sure that I wasn't being stolen and going into another country. Which was weird though, because they didn't ask me if I was related to this woman in the car next to me, which I was. Um, did my dad allow me to do this? Like she didn't ask me anything. She's like, where are you going? And we're like, BTS concert in Hamilton. And she's like, um, okay, whatever, you guys can go through. And I was like, okay. Thank you. But like it was so weird because like I could have been getting stolen and she didn't really care. So after we crossed the border into Canada, we drove for two more hours until we got to Hamilton, Ontario. Or Ontario. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, we got there and I slept for an hour in the car. I was so tired. I was doing like social studies homework and I fell asleep. Like I got so bored doing it. Anyways, we stopped in Canada on that Thursday, and we went into a subway, and there were, like, all the prices were, like, jacked up because it's Canada, and their money is, like, more, like, everything's more expensive in Canada because their money, I don't even know how to explain it, and so we went in there, and we ate, I got a sub, it was pretty Gucci, I mean, it tasted like American food, but, like, because it's a subway, Anyways, we left and we got in the car and drove to the first, I don't remember what it's called, like the first Ontario Center or first Hamilton Center, like, and I was so excited. Like, there were people lined up outside and, like, I will try to get a picture of that too and there were a ton of people and there was the general admission line and the people who were standing, like, in the pit. And so, me and my mom had to go park our car and then I got out and I was just, like, so overwhelmed with emotions at that point. It was just so insane because all these people were lined up for the same reason I was. They loved this band just as much as I did. You know, I have loved them for 10 months, almost a year, and they helped me through a lot of my depression and anxiety and mental health issues. I will, I've had also more mental health issues that I just don't want to open up about in this video because this video is going to be happy and joyful, but they helped me through a lot when i felt like there was no hope there was really no reason to keep on going when i didn't like anyone when i didn't want to do anything when i'd rather lay in bed all day than literally go communicate with people they were there for me like they were always there for me they always understood that mental health is never a joke they've made numerous speeches on it and things about it and it's just it was so overwhelming to see, know that in an hour that I was able to see them. Like, the people who really, really kept me alive at that point 
were right in front of me like they were about to be right in front of me so as I got in that line that's all the emotions going through my head so I was like oh my god like outside I was saying like oh my god I'm not gonna have a mental breakdown I'm not gonna cry like I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry and I kept repeating this to myself because I knew that I didn't put on mascara on that day because I knew I was probably going to cry and I ended up not crying because I was just so happy at that point and I thought I was gonna cry tears of joy so I was wearing this BTS shirt and it said Joan95 on the back because I got it from So Aesthetic Shop and this like as soon as I walked in this girl was like I like your shirt and I was like wow that's super sweet like so I started talking to people and I started complimenting people like I was like oh I like your shirt like hi where are you from like oh that's so cool how long did it take you to get here who's your bias like I was talking to everyone and there were these two girls behind us they seemed about college age and they were super sweet and were talking to me and took photos of me and my mom together and took photos of me with my sign and it was just such a happy moment and I was like I'm gonna get an army bomb like I was living I started moving and we got in and that was an incredible experience so we got in the line me and my mom and we were going through the doors and they said, I went to the metal detector, and they're like, hey, your sign's too big. Um, it could block people's view, so either do you want to put that back in your car, or do you want to throw it out? And I ended up having to throw my sign out. I was so mad. I worked on it for, like, almost an hour, but I didn't put lights in it, so I'm glad I didn't invest a ton of money into the sign. I was like, whatever, I'm not going back to the car. I do not want to wait in this line again. I'm just going to go in. And then the whole arena was, like, in front of me. So we went up and we got this card for a BTS survey, and I still have it. I kept it. And we went up and got in line for the merch line. So I, there were no t-shirts, but there was an army bomb and some other stuff. So I got an army bomb, and I will actually go grab it. Now, if you are not part of the K-pop community or do not like BTS, you will probably not know what a light stick is. So these are very, very big at concerts in, like, K-pop. And usually every group has a different one. This is the army bomb. And so this is concert mode. And then you can hook it up with your seat. And they manually hooked it up for me. And literally all the lights, like, they would, like, synchronize. And it was so cool. And then you can turn it on to Bluetooth mode, which it should be turning blue. Okay, it doesn't want to work right now, but then you can hook it up to your phone and change it different colors, and then you can also just use this button when it's not connected to just do that. And it was just so cool because I feel like this is part of the concert going experience. So me and my mom got a drink and my army bomb, and then it came with some photo cards which are super adorable, and I actually have them in my school folder because when I get upset I look at them and it makes me all happy again. So... I was in such a good mood, so I went to go sit down, talk to the people next to me a little bit, and on the seat it said, you're our superhero bang 10, and I was like, I think I know what song this is for, but when it said, when army time appears on the screen, you will hold it up, and they were just like little signs, and everyone had one on their seat, and it was made by a Canadian BTS fan, so. So I was kind of far up, but the arena was kind of small, like, not small, like, it's fit a good 20,000 people maybe I think it said 16,000 but it was completely full and I know that the tickets sold out very very fast I had gone online on StubHub and they marked up the $80 tickets to $200 so me and my mom ended up paying like $400 for the tickets so I got my drink and then they were playing music videos and then the whole concert started which was amazing and I'll add in more clips because I don't even know how to explain them they were just such a great experience and I will love BTS forever because they make me so incredibly happy and if you're a BTS fan I purple you you are my favorite thing in this world because you obviously know how happy they make you and how happy they make me and I love all of you I purple all of you and thank you guys so much for watching I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> because most of them I was screaming and you can probably hear it but anyways I'm just in my uncle's garage he took a new house and we're helping him a little bit so this is the actual end of the video I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye